on a website that uh, lists international work experience opportunities for Quebec youth. And I applied on a whim. I have been doing year, uh, radio for about three years or so back in Montreal, so I do have the experience. And I never really expected to get this opportunity, but you know, sure enough, I was accepted. So I'm really pleased to be here. Yeah. Well, I read that you went to is it? Correct me if I'm wrong here. Concordia University yeah, in Montreal. Yeah, you've done was your it, research. Yeah, I had a little bit. Now. <laughs> so it was some sort of arts program, wasn't it? What you were doing? Yes, so how did you get into the sort of radio side? Okay. Thing? Yeah, you're correct. In fact, I trained as a visual artist. I am a painter. Yeah. But um, over the years, I was always interested in radio, so I became involved yeah. at a campus and community station called CKUT 90.3 FM, which is a really great, great place to be. And I've learned so much over the years. I've been doing programming there for a while. I host a jazz program back home as well as a visual arts talk show. Interesting. So, um, could you tell us about, about the GCR, the Classical Clyde Radio, and its launch, which is on the 4th of March? Yeah, you're correct. So, we're hoping to launch on the 4th of March, which is very, very soon. So, right now we're just sort of getting organized in terms of the schedule and what will be airing and who's going to participate. But so far, what we foresee is it's going to be a really um, kind of a flexible schedule and you know anyone can get involved. We're going to have news, music programs, a bit of everything. We'll, have, we'll talk about sports, leisure activities and so on. So you said your role is a deputy station manager, so what will that entail then? Well I'm going to be working with the students a lot, so really dealing with the student body as well as any faculty or staff who wants to get involved and trying to coordinate programming with them. Our station manager here is Charles Fletcher, who you know, has so much experience in radio, we're really lucky to have him sort of at the helm of this project. Okay. And um, has there been, how similar or different is it to over here that is uh, in Canada? Is there much difference? Is it the same? Do you mean the city or the station? Well, I both I suppose I've stopped sure. about the station. But okay, so the, the station. Thing. Well, what's really great about here is that it's a training ground for students in media and journalism and so on because we have a really professional setup here. Everything is digital on the computer, streamlined, and it's the same system that is used in professional and commercial radio stations. Um, back home in Montreal, the station that I'm part of is more of a campus community type of station that is really, um, we have a different mandate. It's about giving a voice to the voiceless. So we're not too concerned with being really professional at all. It's really, you know, people make mistakes on air and that's okay. It's, it's really about uh, making a community and having fun. So there is kind of a difference between the two and I'm kind of trying to bring the good elements that I've learned from CKUT in Montreal over to GCR, but also recognizing the fact that this is really um, about uh, giving the students the opportunity to be as professional as possible and to, you know, go into careers straight out of uh, Glasgow Clyde College. So, uh, how do you enjoy Scotland so far? What do you think about it? <laughs> I absolutely love it. I'm not just saying that. <laughs> I really think that people are so kind here. Really, I've been, you know, welcomed with open arms. Everyone's really, really friendly. So I'm just really, really pleased to be here. Well, that's probably it. That's all. Okay. Mm -hmm.